Please take it easy on my lover She means the world to me God, I know you'll be Follow me to North Temple Through the mountains, cross the sea Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon, amazing Spain, the Mediterranean Sea out there, my rental car, 35 euros, about $40 per day, including insurance. I am driving to Guadalest Castle, just have the car for a day, and then we'll be driving back to Denia, where I stayed for the past four days and rented the car, and then drop the car and from there then I will catch a bus up to Valencia and stay there for the next three days. So uh, an amazing sunny day here. May 17th getting nice and warm. So just a, a five minute drive down to the uh, Guadalest castle. It looks really awesome. So one day in Spain. Here we go. So I'm not sure what happened to the castle yet because Google Maps seems to be wrong. It said that I'd arrived about a half a kilometer back that way where there was definitely not a castle or any parking area or anything. But we must be quite close and up ahead is an incredible lake or reservoir that is totally worth uh, checking out. Presa de Guadalest. So, <laughs> not sure how far away the castle is, but we'll figure it out. The color of this water is just unreal. And I love these landscapes. Okay. I was gonna say, I thought the castle was up there somewhere. I guess that's it, or part of it. I did find it on Google Maps, and for some reason, I ended up in the wrong place, but uh, it is close. What a peaceful scene. Nice to get into the interior and the forests of Spain. All right, let's get up to the castle. Love these old farmhouses and around the corner should be the castle on the ridge. Absolutely incredible sight there. All right, all right, all right. I think that this was definitely worth going out of the way for. And stopping for lunch here. I have a tuna tomato cheese sandwich and an orange juice. The very cute village of Guadalest is right out there. And a very tasty looking cake or tart. Let's give this a try. It's got to be good. Thank 
Oh man, that is amazing. All right, let's go see the castle. What a magical fairy tale kind of uh, setting here. up here. Look at those views and the Mediterranean Sea right out there. About a 35 minute or so drive from Benidorm and a little over an hour from Denia. So this trip to Spain is definitely really getting my attention as far as how amazing this country is. This is my fifth time to Spain, but all of my trips have been relatively short, and so I am far from an expert, but uh, there's a lot to see and incredible, incredible places. Entrada El Castillo, entrance to the castle through Casa Orduña, Casa Orduña. Cool door there. And this way 
into the castle on the hill. What an ultimate setting. Views in every direction. Just stunning. Just unreal. Such a gorgeous scene, wow. Wanderer, stop a while and think of the marvelous works of God and of your short passage on earth. Guadalest begs you to respect its deeds. El Castel de Guadalest, also called Castel de Saint Joseph. After the disappearance of the Caliphate at the beginning of the 11th century, the Muslim Hispania faces a fragmentation into small independent kingdoms. Remains of fortified palaces or citadels for Arabian Al Qasaba belonging to the monarchs of the small Muslim kingdoms. These defensive systems were built due to the continuous frictions between the neighbors where the mobility of frontiers was constant to protect the paths through the valleys. So Muslims invaded from North Africa and took over this part of the world, Iberia, Spain, and Portugal, and then were eventually pushed back to Africa. So the building of the Castle of St. Joseph was started in the 11th century during the 13th century and especially in its second third, the Christian kingdom started to conquer the Muslim territory, mostly due to the serious internal decomposition which Al-Andalus was suffering intermittently from the 11th century. So I guess the uh, Muslim ruler was starting to lose control over the area. The area of Alicante was turned into a crossroads of the reconquest. The Christian Spanish taking back over this area from the Muslims, since it was between two neighboring and rival kingdoms, those of Valencia and Murcia. So, uh, some pretty interesting history there. I guess that's it as far as what you can see at the inside of the castle. The Valley of Guadalest, located at the inner part of the Marina Baja region, is a depression between the Etana, the Sorella, and the Horta mountain ranges, and it traveled across 
By the Guadalest River, the surface of the valley occupies an extension of 116 kilometers and 18 kilometers length. As you can tell, this was obviously a very important and valuable land to live on. Fertile crops there, protected by mountains, water, and then the sea not so far away. All right, so that is going to do it for Guadalest. Going to hop back in the car, drive back to the sea, and go to Caupe on the Mediterranean, a beach resort city that looks really amazing. So check out that bridge up there, a little hard to see. I believe that that is the bridge that we went over on the train. Yeah, look at that. Amazing sight there on the train that I showed in my previous video from uh, Denia to Benidorm and Altia. So, there's a problem getting to Calpe. So Google Maps was showing going this wacky way around route to get to Calpe and I could see that there was a road that went much more direct getting there. Unfortunately, there was construction on the road and all of a sudden it just stopped. There were barricades and I believe that that is why Google was trying to redirect me. So I think that I have to get back up onto that road up there and then that takes you way around the way and there's no other way to do it more directly. So in that case, I'm going to have to abandon plan to go to Calpe, even though I was so curious to see it. Hopefully we can at least get a good view of the massive rock that is hanging over the city. And then there are these two bays that look gorgeous. It looked really, really awesome. But uh, as you'll see up here in just a second, no way getting through and my time is limited. I'm trying to catch a bus at either 5.20 or 6 p.m. Otherwise, the next one isn't until 8 p.m. and it is currently 4.30. And so I have kind of just enough time to make a quick stop at Calpe if the road had gone through. But uh, looks like that wasn't meant to be. Here you can see the construction guys. And then there is the road. I came from this way expecting to go that way. Not possible. Ugh. So I'll see, but uh, it is looking like probably have to skip it. And now I'm backtracking because I drove a ways. There's Benidorm out there. And Altia should be just up ahead. I showed them in another video. But uh, yeah, now I have to get back to get back on the main freeway there. If you look fast, okay. Couldn't really see it, but uh, 
I saw the Cathedral of Altea. Keep right in the fort. Valencia is the direction that I'm heading. Let's see, can you see it? In 600 meters, merge onto AP7. Not really, but uh, that was Altea, the little town on the mountain outside of Benidorm that is really worth a visit. Very, very cute. Old town, little lane, spectacular cathedral. So my ultimate plan was I wanted to rent the car in Denia, where I picked it up this morning, and then drop it in Valencia, where I'm going tonight. But they wouldn't allow that. It's a local company, and I guess they didn't have an office in Valencia, because that would have made everything so much easier. I would have had plenty of time. There's lots of daylight. It's just a matter of coordinating with the bus time, unfortunately, and having to drop off the car. So I am back in Denia, returned the car, caught a taxi over to the bus station here. So there was a bus at 5.20 and the next one is at 6 o'clock. I knew what the uh, bus times were because I stopped here with the rental car before I left and went on my journey there. And so the uh, taxi picked me up after having dropped off the rental car at about 5.25. The bus was at 5.20. It took five minutes to get over here. I was kind of hoping that maybe that bus would be delayed and it would still be sitting here and I could catch that one, but uh, that didn't work. So I got a ticket for the six o'clock one. It was 11 euros. That's about $12 for what will be a hour and a half or so bus ride. So coming in uh, 25 minutes or so. So things are working out, even though things didn't work out, didn't get to see Calpe bummed about that but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes and uh, instead I guess I will just give you a little bit of a taste of Valencia which I'm really looking forward to it sounds like an amazing city so uh, bus ride get there I have a hotel reserved for the next three nights so it will be nice to just relax there for three days explore that city and also figure out what I'm doing next I haven't decided yet whether to take the ferry or a flight over to Ibiza Island and then go to Formentera or maybe skip that plan altogether and just jump to another country. I'll be checking flights and thinking about it. So uh, the bus will be here soon. Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. Sí. Si. ¿Qué parte de Estados Unidos? Washington, New York. California. California. San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco. Mucho español en uh, California. Sí, si, mucho, mucho. Bien. Yo tengo muchos amigos míos en uh, América. Ah, ok, bien. Tengo Washington, Washington yeah. DC, uh, Nueva York, tengo en Dallas, en Houston, Texas, en New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> and so a room tour. It is average and expensive. $101.93 euros. This was literally the cheapest thing that I could find other than a hostel. Maybe because the third day lands on a Friday and so things were booked out for the weekend. I'm really bummed about the two twin beds here, but that was all that they had. No uh, single beds left. Probably because I checked in late. But nice and clean. Fairly quiet once you close the doors there and the city looks really, really amazing. It reminds me a lot of Paris. The hotel is in a great location, 
just a block or two from the main square and surrounded by all of these gorgeous kind of fading historical buildings but right on the other side of this building it is really spectacular so I'm going to uh, relax for a couple of minutes here and then head out and wander around a little bit it's getting dark here it's also kind of chilly and uh, go find some food and show you just a little taste of Valencia and then I will show much more of the city in the coming days 23 degrees Celsius 919 in the evening my hotel is just right down there and to the left and here you have this very lovely square and an all-around very atmospheric scene so I'm not going to film much now I am wiped out getting dark here time to find a restaurant and take a seat relax get to work and get ready for the next couple of days of exploring this really amazing looking city look at this spectacular square I have no idea what any of these buildings are, but I will do more research for the coming videos and uh, learn more about this beautiful, very authentic and somewhat little known city, at least to outsiders. Barcelona, of course, is super famous. Madrid, Sevilla, Granada, Malaga, but uh, Valencia is definitely not so much on the tourist map. Really nice fountain here. Very clean city. It's rather quiet. Pedestrian zone here. Feels super safe. Definitely a nice one. All right, time to wander for a bit and find a restaurant. 